In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the PlayStation Vita emulator, Vita 3K. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over to Vita3K.org. I will leave the link to this page in a pinned comment below. Once you are here, at the top of the page, you will see download. And since I'm gonna be downloading this on Windows, I'm gonna click right here for Windows Nightlies. Now I have moved my downloaded file here on my desktop. You guys can save your file wherever you like, whether that be an SSD, external SSD, external hard drive, it's up to you. Now this file will need to be extracted. You can do this by right clicking on the file and you can use your built-in Windows extractor by going to extract all or you can download this free program called 7-Zip and this is what I prefer to use. I will leave the link to 7-Zip in the description. If you have 7-Zip installed, then you wanna come down to show more options, go to 7-Zip and extract to Windows. This will create a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip folder so we can right click on it and delete it. Now also here on my desktop, I have a folder I created called Vita ROMs where I have a few Vita games. Now for most people trying to set this emulator up, this is the hardest part. So when searching for your Vita ROMs online, the format you want to be looking for is VPK slash no NPDRM. These file types, once extracted, can run on Vita 3K. Now what we want to do is extract these files. And we're going to do them one at a time because if you do all of them at once, it may give you folders with the same names. So let's do Borderlands 2. I'll right click on the file, go to show more options, 7-zip, and extract here. Once it's done extracting, you're going to get this folder that says app. Now what you want to do with this folder is right click on it, go to compress to and select zip file. And once you have this new file, go ahead and rename it. Just rename it to the actual name of the game, in this case Borderlands 2. And we can go ahead and delete the app folder. And we can delete our Borderlands 2 compress folder. Now this file here, which is a .zip file, will play in Vita 3K. Now I am sorry, I cannot tell you here on YouTube where to find Vita ROMs. You can just Google search them, just make sure you're looking for VPK, no NPDRM files. Or you can check out my Patreon page, link in the description, and I will have a video there that will help you out with this. Now let's go ahead and open our emulator folder. And we can open the actual emulator, which is this file here. Go ahead and select your language and then next select where your emulator is located on your PC. In my case, it's on my C drive since it's on my desktop. If you would like to change this location, then you can click here next. Now we are not going to worry about this first one here, but we do need to download a firmware and we need to download our font package. And when you click on both of these, it will take you to the page that will give you the files. So we can start with the firmware, go ahead and click on download firmware. And as you see, it will take you over to playstation.com. And from here, you can download the latest Vita firmware. Just click right here, download update. And if the download doesn't start, then come up here, click on these three dots and select keep and keep anyway. Now, so that you don't mix your firmware and font package up, I suggest creating separate folders for each one. So go ahead and right click new folder and I'm just going to call this firmware in that downloaded firmware file we're just going to move into that folder and while we're here let's go ahead and create another folder and we'll call this folder package and now we'll download font package now this is going to take you to this page here and once you are here your download should automatically start and once again your computer may not want to download it so go ahead and click on the three dots keep and keep anyway and we're going to take our package file and move it into the package folder we created now that that's done let's go ahead and install firmware file now we are going to have to do both of these files individually so let's go ahead and locate our firmware first which is in that firmware folder and select our file inside. 
successfully installed okay now let's go back to install firmware file and this time we're going to locate our package and i just noticed i spelled package wrong but we're going to ignore that i left the c out but anyways let's go into that folder and select our package file successfully installed okay next on this page you can set your interface settings you can make your app icons bigger i just leave them at 64 next and we are done okay when this screen comes up go ahead and check over here show next time so we don't see this anymore and close go ahead and create a user you could put whatever name you want here i'm just going to put my name okay and then select that user now let's go up here to the top and click on configuration settings now make sure this stays on automatic and let's go over to GPU. And for the back end renderer, we're gonna change this to Vulkan for the best performance. Down here, you can change the internal resolution. I like to turn this up to two times. You can go as high as you like, but just note there is a message here that says games are not guaranteed to render properly at more than one times. But I haven't had any issues at two times. And that's all we're gonna do here. Everything else, we're gonna leave at default settings, come down to save and close. Now, as far as setting up your controller, as long as you have your controller connected to your PC before you load up Vita 3K, this emulator will recognize that controller and set it up. So if we come up here to controls, controllers, you will see right here that the emulator has picked up my Xbox Series X controller and all of my buttons are already set. So at this point, we can just go ahead and load up a game. So let's come up here to file. And remember, our ROMs are in a .zip format, so we wanna come down to install.zip. Now, if you have all of your ROMs in that .zip format and ready to go, then you can select directory and all of your ROMs will load in. But I only have Borderlands 2 ready, so I'm gonna select file. I'm gonna locate my folder, Vita ROMs. And as you see, the only game showing in here is Borderlands 2 because it's the only game that's in the correct format. So I'm gonna select that game. Installation complete, okay. And there's our Borderlands 2 game displayed on our home screen. Now if we go ahead and click on it and start. Now, if you want to go full screen, then press the F11 key. Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.